Wido. I'm an ordinary businessman. I work at an ad agency. We worked in teams. Communication was key. But I was terrible with people. I always kept to myself. I had this bruise on my face and it made me really insecure. And he always made me do the grunt work. Uzaki, these numbers are all wrong. Check them again. <laughs> oh, that? I got those from Yugokawa. What? No, it wasn't me. You again? Ugh, stop making excuses. Fix it. Sorry. People blame me for things I didn't even do. Naturally, my boss didn't trust me. My career was going nowhere. I know I should say something, but I just couldn't. So, I decided to tough it out. I told myself that things would get better soon. But I was wrong. Ten years went by, but nothing really changed. Zaki, you're being promoted to section chief next month. I'm counting on you. Thank you, sir. All of my colleagues were getting promoted. This job wasn't for me, but I didn't have the guts to quit either. And things weren't that good at home either. So, when are you getting married? You're gonna turn 40 next year. My parents were always pressuring me to get married. It was really annoying. Then... This is my friend's daughter. Pretty, right? They tried to set me up with someone. If you're worried about the bruise, just wear makeup. You'll be fine, honey. I wanted to get married, sure, but I was terrible with women. I wanted to run away, but my parents insisted, so I said yes to get them off my back. Then, a few days later, I borrowed makeup from my mom and covered my bruise. You can barely see it. Don't rub your face. It'll come off. I know, I know. Uh, hello. I opened the door. There was a woman wearing a kimono. She looked over at me, but looked away. Looks like she was in a bad mood or something. Ah, please sit! Hello, I, I'm Hirotake Igogawa. He's handsome! You look even better in person. Come on, introduce yourself. I'm Yuka Yukiura. Sorry, she's just shy, that's all. It's okay. Our dads did most of the talking. She just sat there, staring at the floor. Then, about an hour later... All right, we'll be going now. Yeah, I'll come pick you up in an hour or so. Have fun. They left the room. It was really awkward. I waited for her to say something, but nothing. Uh, uh, oh, I know. Want to go get some fresh air? There was a nice river out front. How about we take a walk? Okay, sure. I had to say something, so I suggested that we go take a walk. It's really nice out today. Yeah. It was still awkward, but it was better than sitting in that room doing nothing. A few minutes later, we got to the river. She started walking down the steps to go near the water. Hey, uh, you okay? Don't fall now. She didn't say anything, though. She just kept walking down the stairs. We just stared at the water for a while. Then, after a little while, she started talking. I... I have a crush on someone. And the river reminds me of him. I don't even know his name, though. I know it sounds dumb, but I can't forget about him. She said with a sad look on her face. Her dad brought her here against her will, just like me. I better wrap this up. She doesn't want to be here. Uh, let's go back. It's a bit chilly. Okay. So we started heading back, but then she fell down. Ah! It wasn't easy walking in a kimono. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Uh... I think she twisted her ankle. Here, get on. Oh, I'm fine, really. You can't walk up the stairs like that. Come on, I'll call a cab. Thanks. You okay? I'm fine. I used to be on the swim team years ago in high school. But that was years ago. I was in pretty bad shape. But somehow, I made it up the stairs. I was sweating like crazy by the time we got up on top. Thank you. You okay? Here, use this. <sighs> Thanks. I wiped myself down. But then... Ugh! Crap! The makeup! I completely forgot about it! The makeup got all over her handkerchief! Everything okay? Uh, I'm fine. Sorry about your handkerchief. I'll get you a new one. I tried to hide my bruise, but it was too late. There's no point in hiding it now. People who gross up on my bruise should probably react the same way. But I didn't even care anymore. Uh, sorry about this. I know it's pretty gross. Wait, hold on. Can I take a closer look? Uh-huh. Uh, okay. What was she doing? 
She came closer and checked up my bruise. She didn't say anything for a while, so I looked over at her. For some reason, she was crying? Uh, why are you crying? I'm so happy. I finally found you! Uh, huh? Uh, I... Many years ago, when I was in elementary school, I was playing with my friends by the river, but then the water level rose. I was trapped in the middle of the river. Help! I panicked. All I could do was call for help. People started gathering around me, but nobody tried to help me. This is bad! Where's the ambulance? I was ready to give up, but then... This man jumped in the water, swam towards me, and got me to safety. You okay? Uh, yes. Thank you. Whew. I looked up. He had this bruise on his face. You're hurt. Was this my fault? No, it's a birthmark. No worries. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine, really. Don't worry about it. I know it's kind of gross. No, it's not. Up close, it looks like a kitty cat. <laughs> Nobody's ever said to me before. Thanks. You okay? Then the rescue team arrived. They took me to the hospital for some tests. I wanted to thank him again, but he was gone. I didn't even get his name. It was love at first sight. I couldn't forget about him. I've been looking for you for years. Wait, you're that little girl? Yes. You remember me? It was a while ago, but I remembered. I wasn't expecting to run into her like this. Um, I'm sorry I was so rude to you earlier. Oh, it's fine. No worries. Um, you think I can see you again? Uh, sure. I'm an old man, though. We started spending some time together after that. Then, after a few dates, we decided to go out. Unlike me, she was very social. She took me to all kinds of places, and she was really nice to me. That looks great on you! You're so tall, everything looks good on you! You're an amazing singer! She made me feel much better about myself. I felt really comfortable around her. I was much older than her, but that didn't really matter. She really helped me with my self-esteem. This had a good effect on me at work, too. Hey, I need you to copy these, go! Sorry, but I can't. I got a meeting with a client after this. What? He changed. Yeah, I kinda like him. <sighs> Igokawa, you did well this month. Keep it up. Thank you, sir. Ugh, asshole. But then, one of our members messed up at work. He forgot about an appointment with the client, then sent an apology email to the wrong recipient. He sent out some sensitive information. And the guy responsible? He didn't show up to work the next day. He knew he was screwed, so he probably made a run for it. That morning, we all had to put our work aside and deal with the situation. Uzaki was a section chief, so he was supposed to take the lead, but... The client is furious! They want an apology! Igokawa, you go! Go apologize to them right now! What? Why me? You were on the same team, and you're older than him! This is partially your fault! If we lose this account, it's on you! It was a big account we just got a few months ago. We couldn't afford to lose their business. I guess I had no choice. But then... But I'm just an ordinary employee. They'll probably want to see someone in charge. You're right. Uzaki, go with him. But sir, I got others to take care of. You're the section chief. This is your responsibility. Handle it. <sighs> yes, sir. The manager ordered Uzaki to go with me. Just follow my lead. Okay. It's a big company. They probably don't even remember his face. What is he talking about? We're terribly sorry. We're sorry. We're very disappointed in you. What happened? Well, the thing is, he messed up. He hit the wrong keys and... I'm so sorry. What? He tried to put it all on me. Is that true? What? Uh, I... He always did this, and I always let him walk all over me. But not anymore. Things were different now. I'm not gonna let him do this anymore. I... He's new, sir. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's useless. I'm really sorry. But before I could say anything, Uzaki interrupted me. Forget it. I don't even care anymore. But then... Wait. Is your name Hirotaka Yogawa? Uh... Yeah. I knew it. 
I'm Yuka's older brother. Uh, huh? What? She always talks about you. I knew I saw you somewhere. <laughs> what are the odds? It was Yuka's brother. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. He's not even the person in charge. You lying to me? What? I... Why did you bring him here anyways? You try to put the blame on him? I'm sorry. And, um, he's not useless. He saved my sister's life. He's a hero. What? He's the most brave person I know. But you, look at you. You can't even take responsibility. Instead, you're trying to blame it on someone else. Pathetic. I... Look, I like him, so I'll let this slide. But under one condition. I don't want to ever see you again. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. What? After that, Zaki got a demotion. Things got really awkward for him, and a few months later, he ended up leaving the company. A few weeks later, Yuka's brother introduced me to a new client, and I got a big promotion. Things were finally starting to go my way. Then, a few years later, Yuka and I got married. Yuka... Thanks for everything. You saved me. What are you talking about? You're the one that saved me. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. And the bruise on my face? I wasn't ashamed of it anymore. If anything, I was proud of it. It was a rough couple of years, but glad everything worked out.